So, hello everybody, it is I, Granorite. Here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with our Gen 2 type challenge of... Poison type. That's what we're doing. Poison type. I don't know why that was so hard for me to remember all of a sudden. Um, we are here... Uh, in Ecruteak City, ready to go take on Morty's gym. And, uh, we just ended last episode by evolving our Ghastly into a Haunter, and so we're gonna read about Haunter while we beat up on this first Sage. So, Haunter, still medium slow leveling, right? Haunter is a purple Pokemon with a gaseous body. It has a round head flanked by three large spiked protrusions on either side. It has triangular eyes with small pupils and a mouth with a long pink tongue. The gases composing its head uh, curve into its mouth and form several pointed teeth. Disembodied hands with three clawed fingers float in front of its body. Its body tapers into a jagged tail. Honor's gaseous form makes it one of the lightest Pokemon in existence. I thought um, bug type was super effective because of ghosts, but I guess it's not. Haunter hides in very dark places such as caves and is afraid of light. Uh, if a human or a Pokemon comes near Haunter, it will stalk the victim while floating and beckon it to come closer. We're going to swap the Weeping Bell here. Once approached, it will then lick the victim with its gaseous tongue, inflicting convulsions in the victim that last until death. It can also float through walls. Um, it has been shown in the anime that it can control its hands from far away and can control any Pokemon that it touches with its hands. Despite its predatory nature, it has been known to entertain and prank people in the anime. Additionally, it has been shown to feel intense loyalty to a deceased trainer. In Generation 1, Nightshade was its signature move. In our Pokedex information for Gen 2, Gold says in total darkness where none is visible, Haunter lurks, silently stalking its next victim. Silver says that its tongue is made of gas. If licked, the victim starts shaking constantly until death eventually comes. And Crystal says it hides in dark. It hides in the dark, planning to take the life of the next living thing that wanders close by. And that's going to be our last evolution for a little while. We're going to just mud slap this ghastly. Swap over to our haunter. There we go. Blah. It's not like we're not effective against uh, this gem. It's just we don't have anyone that's like really effective against this gem. If that makes sense. Go ahead and reduce my focus energy stuff. I'm just fishing for critical hits. Okay, well he knocked himself out. That does it. Uh, let's swap Haunter up for this next fight. We'll do Haunter v Haunter here. And then we'll swap Grimer up. Oh, we had a Paralysis Cure Berry. Excellent. We'll swap here for this Haunter. Wow. What a short sleep. This is annoying. Okay. Let's go heal. 
Like, we're not in any danger, but it's just really annoying. Good mud slap there. One more. Good deal. He dodged that one. Haunter coming out next. We're going to keep Grimer out. We have a bunch of health. We could take a few more of those. Tried to mimic me. I didn't even know what new mimic. Get out of here, Haunter. Alright, now for the risky move. We missed. We missed the hypnosis. Not good. That's not what I want to use. Can we sleep powder this? A revive in here. I didn't want to run. Haunter! Missed two hypnosis on that Gengar. Well, I guess uh, Grimer will take it out. Again, I'm fishing for critical hits. Oh, I can't recall them because of the thing. Um, mean look. So let's heal. Maybe we take him down with one more twin needle. And I know we're faster. you up to start. Ugh. Still gonna be a while before we get uh, Haunter being really good. Who's 25 still? Weeping Bell? Alright, we're gonna swap Grimer up for this next fight, because it is against the Boids. Might as well pick the berry. Good deal, Grimer. Line him up and knock him down.
take on the sailor here. Twin Needle the Flaffy. And then we'll just Poison Sting it to take it out. And we'll swap to Weeping Bell for the Psyduck. Aha! We're gonna run back and get that really quick. Because that is our Leaf Stone. And we're relatively close. Speed! Alright. And we're not going to be evolving our Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell until level like 42 when it learns Razor Leaf. Let's get back to where we were. We want to switch Haunter up for the next fight. Oh, and because I haven't, here is Haunter's animation. And we already saw B drills. Here is Weeping Bells. Spins that leaf. I do think your Pokemon are beautiful. You and your Pokemon. But it is gonna go right down to the Sweeping Bell. We're gonna swap Haunter up yet again for this next fight. Swap up B drill here. Easy peasy.
All right, we're making pretty quick work at this point. Our team is really starting to come together, move-wise. Eradicate. Beedrill really knocking guys down with that twin needle. Good deal. Alright, let's swap uh, Grimer for this next fight. Gotta talk to our rival first, of course. into the mark and we're gonna sell the nugget and the ultra ball and I don't think I have any TMs to sell in nine. so we're gonna buy our hyper potions that we always get and super repels so let's swap up Like so. Let's go into the focus center and heal. And then let's go get strength. the light tower we go get a nice old knocked out here we're gonna start sludging for this next fight? Question mark? Oh, um, it's a water type trainer next, so we're gonna, we're gonna switch up Haunter here. I'm trying to remember, I thought we were going to that bird catcher that's got all the low level Pokemon, but nope, we got this guy with the Poliwag and the Poliwhirl first. Bubble, no. There he goes. Excellent. Uh, we are not going to use Beedrill the next fight, we think. So I'm going to swap up Grimer. going to speed through as we sludge all these. The only damage he takes is from the quick attacks. Alright, and then we're going to swap up Haunter for the fire type trainer here.
All right, now we'll swap up Beedrill. You got a lot of HP. second here, sorry. Oh, I did not want to use Poison Sting, I wanted to use Twin Eagle. Oh well. We're gonna swap Grimer up for the next fight. Alright, now goes the Piro. Now we say get the Spiro down. Good deal. We'll swap the Weeping Bell up for the next fight. Alright, let's take out Machop here. We have another Machop, so we'll switch to uh, Beedrill here. Weeping Bell for the Poly Whirl. Thank you. 
All right, we got the super potion here. Uh, avert your eyes if you don't like photosensitive flashing. We're gonna be going down lots of floors, and it's gonna flash a lot. In three, two, one, now. All right, and we're out. We're gonna heal up really quick. And uh, for the next fight, I'm gonna switch Haunter up. All right, we're just gonna Shadow Ball this Tentacool. It's a good deal. We'll do the same thing for the next one. Then I'm gonna swap to Weep and nah, Bee Drill for the next fight. I need to spray a repel really quick too. Twin Needle. Almost took it down. Ah, oh, and it just hardens anyways. Easy. with the shelter. And I'm gonna swap Weeping Bell up for this next fight. Because it's got more shelters. Which go down really easy to a Vine Whip. Because they have such a low special defense. That we'll swap for War Turtle here. Good critical hit. Swap Haunter up for the next fight. And we're just going to speed through this. Swap up Weeping Bell to start the next fight. Because again, he starts with a shelter. And then we'll swap back to Haunter for the Pentacle here. And then we'll just let Haunter also take on the Pentacruel. Didn't quite get that one, though. Let Weeping Bell take on the Seeking here, I think. Easy peasy to finish off that fight. Let's swap up Grimer for the next fight.
Misses the supersonic, excellent. Uh, we'll just keep Grimer up. Still hitting a lot of water guns for being mudslapped that much. Gyarados. Alright, so this guy does no thrash. And we'll make it miss. Haha! -ha! Alright, let's swap a B drill. Easy peasy. Take out the seal. And down goes the Krabby. So all we have left is the trainer with the horses and Usine. All right, so let's heal. Let's get that secret potion. And then we're gonna swap up Haunter. No, we're gonna swap up Beedrill first. Starts with the Drowsy, if I remember correctly. And then we'll switch for the Haunter to our Haunter. And then we'll swap to our Grain. Alright, now we just need to get our Pokemon up to level 30, which should not take very long. Of course, I guess it will if we're just going to smack ourselves in the face several times. Beedrill's trying to learn Pursuit. We're going to pass on that because it's a special attack and he does not have good special defense. Or special attack. Alright, there's Weeping Bell then.
We should be fine as long as we push past the confusion. There we go. And then Haunter just needs like a single fight here. Okay. Believe we are ready to go take on Chuck now. Let's start off with Beedrill. Excuse me. Got him. So Beedrill and Grimer are going to be pretty much unusable in the next gen. That's an hurt. We have, I guess, pretty good special defense of Beedrill. And Hitmachan has really low special attack. Of course, I guess it's not true with Grimer because he does no Mud Slap for the uh, um, Magnemite. Good poison. Got a lot of health to take those seismic tosses. Take on the man key. Excellent. heal really quick and then we're gonna swap Haunter up to the front to start this fight. Oh I messed that up. Try that again. Easy peasy. Let's see if we can get a hypnosis on this polyrath, and then we're gonna curse it. So we put it back to sleep now? Haha! <laughs> Swap to B drill. Down he goes. Easy peasy, easy win. All right, we get dynamic punch.
All right, let's teach fly really quick. We're gonna fly to Violet and pick up the rare candy here. And then we're gonna fly to Azalea Town and get the King's Rock. to Beedrill. Alright, then we'll get out of here. We'll go take on the hardest gym leader that we're probably going to face. How much money do I have? Not a lot. Not enough. Alright, let's go deliver the secret potion. Swap Grimer up front. All right, here we go. So it'll take two mud slaps to take down a Magnemite. Send out Haunter next. Do we get a hypnosis on this? Yeah. Good deal. I'm trying to look at Fuse Ray. What do you currently know? Nah, we're gonna pass. Alright, let's send out Weeping Bell. Do we get a sleep powder on this? No. Sleep powder now? Okay, we did put it back to sleep. Woo! How many gross have we used? Four, so this is five, six. This should do neutral damage, and he's got pretty low special defense. He missed that iron tail, excellent. So she'll hyper potion. And then we'll just do it again, and down he goes. Boom, boom, skidoo. Uh, let's fly to Ecrotique, heal up, shale across to Seven Shage. Take out this Quillfish. Remember, we just speed through these fights here because they're such low level.
We are not gonna learn Screech. Swap for the Zubat, of course. Swap Haunter up for these next couple fights here. Alright, and then we'll swap B Drill up. We want to go get Hidden Power again. Hopefully we'll get a good one. Rinky just a place of growth. See if we can figure out what our hidden power is really quick. Oh, I did not want to fight a Raikou. Alright, so... Well, that's not what I'm... Well, I guess that's okay. So it does normal damage to... You. Okay, let's see if it's super effective here. It's not. Okay. So we know it's not a... Well, several times. I guess. Can I rule out really quick water type? I can just up ahead here. doing neutral damage there. Not very effective against Machop. And so, what's not very effective against? So it could be what? Poison type? It's not, it could be dark. It could be bug. So it's either dark or bug. Okay. So if I can get a rock type, I can roll, I can figure out which one it is. Actually, this will tell me one of it. So it's dark type, I'm thinking. Let's, can we get a rock type really quick? It's not very effective against rocks. It's 
there's nothing that's not very effective against rock type and fighting type. Unless it's ground, the ground type. So it could be rock type. But it wasn't super effective against flying types. Not very effective against Geo. And it wasn't very effective against Machop. It's so odd. I mean, my gut says it's bug type. So, I mean, that's what I'm going to go with. I guess we'll figure it out when we find something it's super effective against. But anywho, so we are going to end the episode here. So I do hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.